Welcome. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this uh, uh, solve this equation. <laughs> Solve for the missing side using the Pythagorean theorem. Now, a lot of times people say, oh, Pythagorean theorem, you know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, very obvious. I always like to say leg squared plus leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And the reason why I write it that way is because not always are our variables a, b, and c. If you want to replace x with c, that's fine, because we, the first thing we want to do when we're trying to apply the Pythagorean theorem is identify what is the hypotenuse and what are the legs. So I automatically go to my right angle and say, all right, that's my hypotenuse. And then these are my two legs. So if you want to use your hypotenuse as c squared instead of writing as hypotenuse, that's perfectly fine. But to apply the Pythagorean theorem, all I'm simply going to do is now say that the leg squared plus the leg squared equals my hypotenuse squared. So 5 squared is 25, plus 2 squared is 4, equals x squared. That becomes 29 equals x squared. Then I go and see, um, to solve for x, I now need to take the square root of both sides. And therefore, my final answer is x equals the square root of 29. And that is a radical, but it cannot be simplified any further. So I'll just leave it as that length. Thanks.